Hello and welcome to our first tips and tricks video to accompany our first newsletter. The first thing we're going to look at is how to make your chart clearer by moving link labels and moving links apart when they are too close together. In the chart you can see the labels in this part of the chart are hard to read. So we can hold the Alt key down and click and drag the link label. If you want to put it back where it was, hold the Alt key down and double click the link label. There's also an option to rearrange the labels automatically. Just select the links, go to Arrange, click Arrange Link Labels. It could still look better if we respace the links themselves. To do this, hold the Shift key down and click and drag the label. You notice when I drag the link that it jumps. If you want to control how far it jumps, right mouse click on the chart, edit chart properties, and under Options and Display, change your link spacing. If you want to be really neat, we might want to stop the phone number cutting into the link. We could hold the Alt key down and drag its label, or we could change what's called the fan size. Select the links you're interested in, right mouse click on one of the selected links, choose Combine Properties, and go to Style, Links, Connection, and change the fan size. In this example, we've chosen 30. Now let's try another example. I've selected the transactions I want, so I'm going to choose to copy them to a new chart. Now I want to respace all these links quickly. Select all the links you want, go to Arrange, and choose Compress Connections. Now I think they're all a bit close together. So I'm actually going to change my link spacing like we did before and then do compressed connections again, which will respace them with the new setting. Perhaps a better name for this would be respace connections. Our third tip is an iBase tip. In iBase, we can save things called folder objects. These include things like sets, queries, report definitions, and so on. If I have a look at my sets, I can organize them into folders. So if I look at the general folder, you can see I have four sets, whereas the JW folder has many more different ones. So it's like having a filing system inside iBase. Normally you categorize objects into folders when you save them. To recategorize them, right mouse click on it, choose categorize, and then either pick an existing folder or click in the middle to type in the name of a new one. You can also see it says here that you can make subfolders as well by using a backslash. Finally, you can decide who can see these objects. Public means everyone can see them. Private means only you can. And restricted to groups 
means you can share the objects to a specific group of users. This last option has to be set up by your iBase designer. So if it's not available, have a word with them. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like any more information, including a copy of the newsletter, please get in touch.